Hey up everybody, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. So, patch 12.4 is out in the wild now. We are, at the time of me recording this, roughly 24 hours on from it going live and for people being able to download it. Probably not the most well-received patch that I have seen from Battlestate, it's got to be said. It's got a mixed reaction though, some people like some of the changes, some people don't. But credit to Battlestate, they are listening to the feedback that they are getting and they are tweaking things in this patch as we go along and there's already been quite a few tweaks made to the patch, so I'm going to go for through those with you guys so first off the money disappearing bug which is a thing you might not have experienced it personally but quite a lot of people had logged into their accounts and I don't know if in the process of them logging in or whilst they've been in playing money has vanished from their accounts I don't know how much it's hard to say why it happens nobody seems to be able to recreate the reasons in game that make it happen but for some people they have lost money uh, some people have lost a little bit some people have lost a lot I personally wouldn't really notice if I lost a few million because I've got quite a bit not bragging but you know it's not something that I keep track of really but apparently they're looking into it as a matter of urgency and they are looking at compensating those people that have lost money so hopefully that will be done and dusted very soon next up they've increased weights for the overweight effect the overweight now starts from 40 kilos and up and it kind of blends in up to 70 kilos initially it was 30 to 60 kilos but now they've tweaked it a little bit they say that they can tweak it more it depends on the feedback that they get from the community and obviously it has to be balanced with stamina and things like that etc so it's currently a live thing that they are tweaking as we go along they have said that the head bobbing that was originally lowered in a tweak earlier today they have have now come out and said that they can re you'll be able to remove it completely through a setting and that they're working on a way to remedy it in the game some people like head bobbing i don't i have it turned down as low as possible in the setting and apparently are still able to do that They've lowered the rate of stamina depletion while you are prone and ADSing. Apparently when you went prone and went to ADS, the amount of stamina that you lost was unbelievable. And to be fair, when you are prone and ADSing, it shouldn't use much stamina at all, but apparently it was using too much, so they have tweaked that. They've increased the sensitivity while you run. Not really sure what that one means, to be honest, to increase the sensitivity while you run. I don't know, maybe somebody can elaborate on that. They're investigating static camera on recoil issue. They say recoil feels a little bit different now. They've lowered the camera bobbing as I just explained and you can remove it entirely through the settings. Fixed 1500 error on the flea market that people were experiencing. They've increased breath capacity as well for whilst you ADS. They are fixing the fall abuse, not really sure what that one is if anybody can elaborate please let me know and they are working on an alternative 1440p interface scaling methods so there's quite a lot going on and one of the main ones that i'm glad they have changed is the flea market access is now lowered to level 10 originally they had said that they were increasing it to level 15 so for new players that were joining the game now they would need to reach level 15 before they'd have access to the flea market again i'm glad that they've lowered it to 10 i think 10 is probably the sweet spot for something like that but i am going to stand by my original uh, argument about this and say that this should have been done in a wipe this mechanic should not be included in the game right now it should only be included when we have a wipe so that every single player of the game is on a level playing field Right now, for somebody who, say, for argument's sake, went and bought the game this evening and logged in, they are at a massive disadvantage compared to other players that are already level 10 and above. So I do think that it's a little bit wrong that there is this cap. I understand the reasoning behind it, but like I say, it pegs you back massively. I mean, everybody now is fully pimped Terminator on this game. We're all running level 6 armor, we're all running fully pimped guns, we've got the great, you know, the best gear that the game has to offer. And for a new player coming in that's basically stuck <laughs> with, a, with a bloody Saiga Nan or something like that, you just don't stand a chance in the game. Now, you do get these people out there that go, well, get good, get good at the game. It's not an issue of getting good at the game. It's an issue of coming into the game and having parity with other players. So, yes, the gear that you have should make a difference, but overall it should be your skill that makes the main difference. And when you're coming up against somebody that's fully pimped, it's a little bit uneven yes again i know it's a hardcore game and that's how it should be and that's why i love escape from tarkov but i do believe that this mechanic should have been put in when we had a wipe 
and then everybody starts off on a level playing field. But yeah, as we go, these changes are live as we go and they are currently tweaking them up and down so no doubt by the time I get this video out they might have tweaked these issues even further and changed some of the things. Again, I've never really known a patch to create such controversy in the community. A lot of people hate it, a lot of people love it. Personally, I haven't played it yet so I don't know what the overweight thing feels like. I kind of agree with having an overweight mechanic though because the more you carry, the heavier it gets and the slower you are in real life. So I guess it's just a case of tweaking it and that's, you know, arguing about it and moaning about it right now which we are 24 hours from the patch isn't really going to work. You know, give constructive feedback if you don't believe in the changes that they've made and then hopefully they can tweak it so that they can try and please as many people as possible. But the thing is, games, we play them for fun and making a game as realistic as possible. You know, if you want to mimic real life, what's the fun in that? You know, a game is to get away from real life. Yes, I understand that there should be some real life mechanics. Those do make games fun. But I think there is a tipping point where you turn it from being fun and you just turn it into some sort of arduous task. So, and I'm seeing a lot of comments by people saying they're just simply not going to play it no more. They're leaving the game, they're going to come back when things have changed, etc, etc. So, but yeah, I'll give it a bash over the weekend to see what I think of it. And I'll maybe report back my feelings on Twitter. If you don't follow me on there, you can do from the link in the description below. And as a sad note, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. We're kind of cruising towards that quite comfortably at the moment, but more subscribers are always welcome. So if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, it would be awesome if you could consider doing so and helping me get to that 1000 mark. That would be brilliant. So right, I'm out of here. All that remains to be said is thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.